Shalawam. All praises to Yahweh Bashem Abashai, Bashem Rakakudash. Double honors to my elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, the men that taught me the truth of the Bible, through the Holy Spirit, and Yahweh Bashem Abashai, Bashem Rakakudash, Bakatham, to the 144,000 servants of Yahweh Bashem Abashai, and the remaining elect of the nation of Israel. Now I've got an article here from www.rt.com, and it reads Democrats demand Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube change algorithms to stop polluting minds of American people. Okay, now this is going to be a spiritual forecast concerning Bible prophecy and pretty much what we're looking at here in the news is going into the prophecy concerning the famine of the word. Pursuant to the book of Amos chapter 8 verse 11, let's get that real quick. This is Amos chapter 8 verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, whose name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. That's who our people, our people being the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ. Okay, speaking through the mouth of Amos. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that I will send a famine in the land. Now a famine, a physical famine, is a lack of food and water okay that's what a famine is now it says here not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water but of hearing the words of the lord yahweh bashma was shy so what we're seeing here in the news like i said is a prelude to that uh scripture being fulfilled or that prophecy being fulfilled because you gotta ask yourself how do you hear the words of the lord how do you hear the words of yahweh bashma was shy well, that takes you to the book of Hosea 12 verse 10, as we always bring out. As our Lord said, through Hosea, I have also spoken by the prophets. So that's how you hear the words of our Lord. That's how you gain knowledge by way of the servants, the prophets that Yahweh Bashma Shai sends forth. And that's what he's done in the form of the apostles, the elders, and the men of Great Millstone. And like-minded righteous Israelite men that share our same testimony and that share our same spirit, which is the spirit of prophecy, which is the spirit of our Lord, Yahweh Shai pursuing to the book of Revelation 19 verse 10 and then on top of that you gotta ask yourself what's the main tool or what's the conduit that our Lord Yahweh Bashem Shai is using to propagate this word or to propagate his word and that's where YouTube comes into the picture and that's where articles like this come into play concerning the famine of the word because our Lord Yahweh Bashem Shai is about to bring an end to the propagating of this word the publishing of this word okay as it says in the book of what's that psalm 68 verse 11 the lord yahweh bashem Shai gave the word and great was the company of them or those that published it roughly paraphrasing so the men that you're seeing going out there on the highways and byways out there on the street corners week in week out such as us here at great millstone the men that you see uploading these videos on a day-to-day -day basis okay these are great men these aren't no regular men man and i say that humbly through the spirit you know because what we're doing is really all for the spirit and for the glorification of yahweh bashma shai this is not of us okay and once the lord yahweh bashma shai removes his servants the prophets off of the highways and byways off of the street corners and off of this platform that we know as youtube that's when all hell is going to break loose in the society okay because we're coming up to that time, the time of Jacob's trouble, where, like I said, all hell is about to break loose upon you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, primarily that dwell over here in North America, Babylon the Great. Okay, and it's going to be very detrimental to those of you that don't have this truth. That's why it says this here when we go to Isaiah 33 and verse 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Like I said, the time that we're coming into is a time of Jacob's trouble where all types of hell, everything that you can imagine concerning terror and fear, well, that's the time that we're coming into, okay? You know, us here at Great Millstone, beginning with the apostles on down, for years have been prophesying about such things as civil unrest. We've been seeing that in the news. We've been prophesying about concentration camps. We've been seeing that in the news, okay? We've been prophesying about the lack of food, the lack of water, the lack of drink, okay? A physical famine, that's coming too, which will lead to cannibalism, okay? We've been prophesying about 
the collapse of the society, the collapse of the US dollar, the collapse of the British pound sterling, the collapse of the global economy, which will usher in a, a cashless society, a digital society, okay, and Esau bringing about his new world order and him trying to enslave you and control you by way of an implantable microchip, which is the mark of the beast. And that's what's coming next too. And like we've been saying, those of our people out there, that's without this knowledge, that's without this wisdom, you're gonna get caught up in the prophecies, which is ultimately gonna to lead to your destruction. Because that's what's coming, man. The great downfall of Esau, Edom, which is the so-called white man and his kingdom, and this place that you know is America, which is Babylon the Great, which Babylon the Great is gonna be destroyed by way of thermonuclear missiles, all right, during the time of World War III. And what I'm saying, what we're saying collectively, the servants, the prophets of Yahweh, Bashmi al Shai, this is what they're trying to censor in the news, okay? That's what we're going to read about here in this article. Again, Isaiah 33 verse 6, And wisdom and knowledge, which is being taught by the men of the Lord, by Yahweh Bashmi al Shai, through his men, i.e. the apostles, the elders, and the men of great millstone, and like-minded righteous Israelite men. And as it says in the book of Jeremiah 3 verse 15, I will give you pastors according to mine heart that shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Okay? And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of dire times. So the wisdom that we're feeding you with, this is what's going to keep you stable during the times ahead, during the time of Jacob's trouble when all hell breaks loose in this society. That's why it's important to get this knowledge while you can. Isaiah 55 verse 6, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. It says, and strength of salvation, and that's what's coming to the elect of Israel, salvation by way of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, when he comes back to earth with the holy angels and what people out there call UFOs, the chariots that you're seeing in the skies these days. It says, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmah Shai, is his treasure. And you can only learn the fear of the Lord by way of his servants, the prophets. Okay. Now it says further down in the article, Democrats in the US Congress have urged major social media platforms to eliminate algorithms and recommendations that breed extremism and undermine the sense of objective reality. And you better know what we're preaching, especially us here at Great Millstone concerning uh, the downfall of America, the destruction of America, um, the impalable microchip, which is the mark of the beast. You know, you better know that that is extremism in the sight of Esau or Edom. So he's looking to sweep us off of their platform, such as the YouTube, and ultimately off of the streets too. Okay, the street ministry is gonna to come to an end too. It says, and I'm just gonna, you know, say the first name because a lot of these surnames I can't really pronounce, but anyway, it says, Representatives Anna Tom wrote letters demanding change to Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg and Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey. A similar letter was sent to the CEO of Google, Sundar Pichai, and Susan Wolchiski, the CEO of YouTube, which is owned by Google. For years, social media companies have allowed harmful disinformation to spread through their platforms, polluting the minds of the American people. Issue tweeted. Okay, and you see the tweet here. Online disinformation is not just about removing bad content. I see it as largely a product design issue. The lawmakers argued that social media platforms allow content which reinforces existing political biases, especially those rooted in anger, anxiety, and fear. They said the algorithms used by big tech undermine our shared sense of objective reality. And their shared sense of objective reality is Esau's new world order, okay? His uh, global reset, that fourth industrial revolution that he wants to bring about, okay? That's Esau's shared sense of objective reality in which the servants, the prophets of Yahweh Bashmi al Shai, beginning with the apostles, the elders, and the men of Great Mustang, were a hindrance unto Esau's new world order, right? That's why he's trying to bring about this new legislation to wipe us off the platform. It says, and facilitate connections between extremist users, which lead to violence in real life, like the storming of the US Capitol in Washington, DC on January 6th. So that's pretty much the heads up concerning the famine of the word. You know, this could actually be the very last year where you see, you know, the servants of our Lord out there on the highways and byways 
out there on the street corners and on this platform that we know is YouTube because it's looking like Yahweh Bashma Shai is about to bring a halt to this ministry and we understand what that means. Okay, that pretty much means that the elect of Israel is sealed, okay, pursuant to what's that Revelation chapter 7, verse 1 on down. So Lord, all you brothers and sisters out there were edified through the Spirit. I want to give all praises, honors, and glory to Yahweh Bashma Washai Basham Rakakodash. Double honors to my elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, and Yahweh Bashma Washai Basham Rakakodash Bakatham to the elect of Israel. Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who are teaching this truth in sincerity. And a shout out to Yaakim that's out there on the four quarters of the earth proclaiming this truth. Brakha the Yahweh, Brakha the Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash, Brakha Dung. So, it's been a pretty good uh, run. You know, we've gone out there, we've prophesied till the end comes. The end is coming. It is definitely uh, near because once we're no longer on this platform, I can't even get onto the fucking bitch shoot, okay? To put up the video that they just took down of the camp. Okay, so the camp videos are now disappearing, which is our way of communicating into your cities, you know? And if those videos can't go up because they're taking them down, indeed the famine is here. Because pretty much, though, they have put us all into the same category with Donald Trump. Donald Trump's the new Alex Jones that they have pretty much banished, you know? So, you already saw that with the takedown of Alex Jones a few years ago, you know? Richie from Boston was taken down last year. You don't see his videos no more, you know? So, the, the end all, Donald Trump, now uh, the big one that they've uh, taken down. See, they had to throw everything into a category. They had to radicalize everything for both sides. That's how this devil is. Most of all, they wanted to get us off the streets, you see. Because if they could put us into them categories and call us extremists, because they've been trying to call us black identity extremists for the longest, but if they could just get it all bunched up into one category, well, that's what they've done. And indeed, medical misinformation, anything that... Uh, goes against the New World Order, they'll just take your video down. And it's getting to a point, though, that uh, videos that got banned, man, you can't even go to the banned one, the bitch shoot, anymore to upload videos. I've been trying to get uh, the camp video on that for a while. You know, for at least the past three or four days, you know? And shit, you can't even do it. You can't even access bitch shoot on a Windows 7 computer. Won't let you. But you can get it on the... Uh, Windows 10, but Windows 10 is all screened, you see. This devil's coming down having great wrath. And the time to get this while you still can is right, draw a night. Yeah. So, I think that those that were meant to get it have gotten it already, and we're just replenishing each other. So we're just going to go hard at this, you know. We're going to continue to be diligent until we can't do it no more. You know, so I hope that the videos that uh, I find and I re-piece together and I share... Uh, have been edifying, you know. I'm making sure that I do my part. Give us this day our daily bread. The daily edification. You know, we're to edify each other. Edifying the elect. That's uh, how you prove that you love Yahweh Shai. Is by feeding his elect. And only the elect are getting this and understanding this. You know. Well, we don't even have to tell you not to do certain things and all that. We're already past all that. That'd be like us... Uh, spending the time to try to explain to you who the Illuminati are. You should definitely be past that. You know, if you don't know that there's an Illuminati, an elite, a Zionist, then we ain't got the time to go through that, you know. This is uh, for those that are uh, mature enough. You see, you had to be at a certain point in order to come here. You know, you're finding out, though, you found out what's going on, that this pandemic was their way of setting up the New World Order under the guise of fighting a virus, just like the same way they do in Syria, setting up terrorist groups in guise of fighting ISIS, of fighting Daesh when they're supporting ISIS and Daesh, and everybody knows it. So, you know, this is coming to a halt very soon here. So I'm going to read some more articles while I still can, and uh, Adawan Ratazah, you know, 
I get more than one video up uh, today if I can, you know. I don't know where else to find me, you know. I think I'm going to create a new channel, Israelite Foreigner 5, just in case. Because this one just got a warning strike for that video that they took down, the camp video. So, uh, got to get another backup because all the other ones have strikes on it. And, you know, <laughs> one more and those are gone, you know. That's why you haven't seen anything on GMS Reading or on uh, Israelite Foreigner 3. One more strike and it's gone. Those strikes uh, don't get removed till about February. So, you know, I'm not going to try to get the channel down with a third strike. Doing everything I can to keep afloat the best of my abilities. We ain't going to be on here much longer with the takedown of that. you already seen the big purge, especially between November and December, man. They were purging channels right and left. They're continuing their purge on all, on all that oppose the New World Order. And there's a lot of people that do oppose the New World Order. That's what's happening. So the Most High is going to send a famine of hearing, of being able to get this. So download this to your computer, save to your computer the best of your abilities that you can. We ain't going to be on here much longer. We now have word out of Hong Kong. They are saying that the city of Hong Kong on Friday announcing its first ever lockdown. A measure that is reminiscent of harsher measures that they had rolled out to combat the SARS outbreak some time ago. Now, here we have moves being made that were not made before. I'm sure the government is going to try to use this to their advantage here. Now, according to the South China Morning Post, Hong Kong will lock down around 150 residential buildings in an area that they say has been recently hit by a new wave of COVID. Now, they will deploy more than 1.7 thousand disciplined service officers 500 from police and the rest from customs so this lockdown expected to begin at midnight they're going to roll out this mandatory testing in the region as well and as i get more information on the mass inoculation that's going on here we'll look into that as well we know that certain cities have been ordered to start rolling out these vaccines in different regions but we really don't have a whole lot of detail as to what's been going on in china with that we know russia has rolled out their own vectored vaccine as well but this is the latest in terms of lockdowns this is something we're starting to see again here globally as all these world leaders are implementing these things like someone has told them to do and i'm going to break this down further on the live streams make sure to join me on d live go on shalom First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashimi, Al-Shah, Bashim, Rafaq, Dash. The honors to our apostles, that great millstone, who will wear the taught us is true. Peace and blessings and salutations to you, elect men out there that are part of the Bayasha Dawadah, that was the thing. Okay, I'm the brother Ryan Mopham in the Valley 12. Coming through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashimi, al Um, Just, you know, some quick, you know, uh, me and a brother was watching the inauguration um, the other day and uh, just watching you know uh, Biden you know just watching how you know because you know this devil uses a uh, word uh, wordplay so you know just meditating and this is gonna be a quick video you know through the spirit so you know but um, you know just uh, watching uh, Biden's uh, wordplay or this this devil this serpent his uh, his wordplay because that's one thing what uh, Esau you know they're real they're real subtle like the scriptures say that same that same uh, serpent that's called the devil okay that's uh, these so called uh, white people Edomites which Biden Trump you know uh, happen have you know happen to be from that na uh, nationality or nation now one of the things that this uh, devil said was uh, we're entering in, I mean, we're still in a dark winter. And uh, I'm not saying it quote for quote, but you know, just saying it period, but he said we're entering into a dark winter and we're at the uh, basically peak or a critical, critical or peak of, um, of this, um, Situation. 
you know, and uh, one of the other things too, you know, I want to put you uh, an on, is that, uh, you know, we were hoping, uh, we were hoping for something to pop off at the inauguration, but, you know, through the spirit, if you really watch how this uh, serpent moves, okay, um, those troops that came over here, those more troops in Afghanistan, I mean, more troops in the U.S. than Af Afghanistan. Guess what? You know, they they did that that uh, that stormed the Capitol thing just to put troops on U.S. soil. If you really uh, look at it, okay, that's why Revelation the 12th chapter it says that same devil that deceived the whole world. Because if you really honestly look at it, they stormed the Capitol. Okay, they stormed it. Boom. Where were all these protesters and this and that and you know no 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 they they did that because like I said you saw it's real crafty they did that so they can have these uh, uh, um, these national guard troops on on U.S. soil you know uh, study uh, uh, ready for what to mandate those uh, max uh, vaccines to mandate that jab man if you really honestly look at it you know. If you really honestly look at it, they they did that so that these these uh, they set up all these generators. Some something is going to pop off because we're we're entering into the time of uh, Jacob's trouble. Something is going to pop off, but you got to look at how this devil is setting it up. You know, he set he's setting it up because this devil ain't gonna just uh, come out and blatantly, oh yeah, you know, just boom right. No, he's trying to uh, he's using trickery. But the scriptures say what? The elect are not going to be deceived. And the scriptures also say too, you know, that we are not ignorant of uh, Satan's devices. So you got to look at, you got to look at that too. You know, we are, we are not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Okay? That's why we can sit here and see the plans of this uh, devil. Okay? We can see what he's doing. I, we can see clearly. You know? We can see clearly. I was thinking, I was meditating on it like, yo, this man, it wasn't, it wasn't ever about storming the Capitol or something happening and this and that and, you know, it was about putting troops and signing in, signing in uh, bills, bills into office, okay? And they, and they said as soon as this devil, right, got into office, he started signing uh, uh, bills, okay? think about that you know hey man we coming at a uh, to a, a, a critical a critical time right where this devil is going to be using a lot of uh, trickery okay so look man keep your eyes peeled you know this uh vaccination this jab whatever the case may be they're gonna mandate it of course you know we've been saying that through the spirit but look 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 why they got the national guard uh, on u.s soil you know they got generators and so so something big is going to happen it may not have had it may not have happened while you know we're we're uh while we were waiting for the inauguration and it may not have happened like right then and there but something is going to happen you know so we just got to keep our eyes peeled and just think about it just just look at this uh this devil's patterns Okay, look at his patterns. This, this double moves in the same patterns. And he's beginning to become real sloppy. You know? He's beginning to come real, become real, real sloppy. Well, to the elect, of course, he's going to, he's going to deceive, you know, two-thirds of Israel. He's going to deceive, you know, uh, um, the whole world. Okay? Except, except the elect. That's why the Lord said that. If they can deceive uh, the, the very elect. But guess what, man? The elect are going to be deceived. We can see right through this devil's game plan. The information is out. We're in the information uh, era, man. The information is out. You know? And we're not blind. We're not ignorant, okay, of this man's devices. We're not ignorant of his craft, crafty counsel or wicked thoughts. You know, that's what uh, device means. You know, we're not ignorant of that. You know what I mean? We're not, we're not stupid to the, to the fact that this devil is uh, planning something. He's moving on with his agenda, Agenda 21, you know, depopulation. Get off my ass. Damn. Right here. 
But yo, like I said, through the spirit, man, keep your eyes peeled. You know, look at the patterns of this of this this red man. <laughs> you know, the real definition of red man. And yeah, the Lord is doing his thing. You know, don't watch these fucking ISUPK guys, these fucking IUICs and you know, dudes of uh, uh, that matter that's that you know, especially ISUPK. You know? Because guess what they're doing? They're leading the uh, the flock astray. You know? They're leading the flock astray. Talking about the chip, the, 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 uh, go ahead and take the Maxine because and we're going to have a good Passover and, you know? Stop watching these, these uh, don't watch these clowns, man. Okay? Because they're going to lead you right into that ditch. That I'm gonna say call about your help. I should now shout like I said, this is just gonna be a quick video anyway. I didn't it wasn't meant to be made long. But I'm gonna say call about your help. I should now shout by Shimon Kalba Dash, the Barnes Star Apostles, the Great Millstone, who will what it us the truth and peace and blessing to you. I can part of the Bayah Shah that without a house of David, man. So next time, show on. And that's just it, you know, positioning the troops. I've seen that, especially with the bullshit in fuck Fornia, Sacramento, you know. Fuck Newsom putting the troops there. It's all about troop movement, troop deployment. So pretty soon Operation Warp Speed will be in full effect, which is all about the vaccination, just as this brother said, man. You know, and we're watching that because the fact is that uh, you can't say too much about it because then your video gets taken down for medical misinformation. But, you know, it is what it is. Those that are meant to take it, they're going to take it. They're going to trust it. They worship the beast in his image. They trust that Esau eat him. You know? <laughs> ISUPK worships the beast and his image. Or he would not be uh, playing around with the whole idea of the mark of the beast being something else. See, he's going to tell you that uh, the mark of the beast has been here all along. No, it hasn't because the beast system hasn't been here all along. No. The beast, the second beast system is the revised Roman Empire. And it hasn't been in full power with the seven heads and ten horns. That's only been for a while, but not a very long while. <laughs> so either way, man, don't listen to these guys, man. You know, find the daily edification. Find those that are speaking the truth. You don't have to look too far. Men of Valor and Great Millstone have the 100% truth. Then an update to uh, a situation here that some people cannot believe is happening as we're witnessing an impeachment trial of a president commence after this man is out of office and we have a new president that has been sworn in. Now, along the road here, Mitch McConnell was supposed to be on the side of the president via the GOP, the whole side that he ran on, and it seemed like many of these establishment goons really we're not caring for Trump, and you can see it in their actions, and you can see ultimately in the end here, it is McConnell himself that is bringing up the timeline here in terms of when they're going to try to roll out this impeachment. So some of them think that it's imperative that they don't allow this half-baked process to stall out or short-circuit, that they can't talk about this, bring it to the table, and then do nothing about it. You have half of the Democrats now really not even caring about this and they want to hurry up and they want to get to work with all the new stuff they have in front of them that's being rolled out with the new administration. So it has rolled back some in terms of having all the support from the Dems wanting to push this. Now that they got their man in there, some are really just like, eh. The other half though is kind of adamant. They want to nail this away and put a bad stain on Trump the best they can. Now, when these articles arrive, the House managers would read off these articles to the Senate. Then they would put a summons in for Trump to come in. And McConnell says he puts a date on this of January 28th. Now that can change. It's not in concrete. But when they do this, Trump would then have one week from that day to answer the articles of impeachment. That would put it at February 4th if it took place on the 28th. He would then have one week from the day he submits his answer to submit his pre-trial brief. That would be on the 11th. And then the House would have two days to submit their rebuttal and pre-trial 
brief, and that is by February 13th. So here it is. Here's their stories that they're trying to sell you. See, they will never tell you about those that are actually refusing it. No, they're just going to tell you that everybody's lining up. And that there's confusion over it, you know, because everybody wants it. Everybody wants some, you know, because they worship the beast and his image. It was at least a three-hour wait at Stockton's Cabral Center last weekend as patients older than 65 or in Phase 1A lined up to get the COVID-19 vaccine, and in which some confusion has arisen. There's no special treatment going on from any inner workings. Supervisor Tom Patty says the event was geared towards in-home support services providers. Remember, it's my understanding that confusion is another name for Babylon. Because not every IHSS provider wanted the shot, so they were we were prepared to administer shots as needed. Patty adds people older than 65 were also inoculated in those in phase 1A. The county's public health department tells KCRA 3 the process was self certification. Everybody's got to go through the protocol. Public health says moving forward, all future vaccination events will be appointment only. And we're going to put together... The supervisor system. says that the county will be rolling up its collective sleeves in the coming days to get the most accurate, up-to-date vaccination information out to families. We're going to be putting together a very robust engagement system for signing up and, and where you can go. According to the San Joaquin County Public Health Department's website, only people in Phase 1A are receiving their vaccinations right now, with Phase 1B expected to begin early February. When we do get 8, 10, 12, 15, 20,000 vaccinations, we will be properly set up, established, and ready to administer. In San Joaquin County, K received KCRA 3 News. We'll be under those that go down to Egypt for help. They receive the mark because the mark is right around the corner. It's getting closer and closer, especially with this famine of the word happening. We're not going to be able to tell you anything more. I'm pretty sure ISUBK and IUIC will stay on, but uh, we here at uh, Great Millstone and Men of Valor, man, we're, we're not going to be around much longer. Get this while you still can. Shalom, Yasharala. Peace, Israel. Kahalayim la alahayinawa. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. All praises to our power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the hopeful elect Israelites. Shalom. Esau Edom's witchcraft is through. Esau Edom's witchcraft is through. It's done. Finished. There's nothing that he can do to hold up his kingdom. There's nothing that Esau Edom can do to hold up and prolong his kingdom. He's done, man. Okay? They're doing all these enchantments, evoking all these spirits, doing demonic rituals and ceremonies. Okay? Nothing is working. You know, casting all these spells and nothing is working. So they've reached their end. They're done and they know it. Okay? Now this lesson is inspired by way of the Holy Spirit. On Wednesday, I was at the brother Ayasha Moff house, brother down here in Mississippi, because him and the majority of our camp down here have a sermon on Wednesdays. So I was able to join them. And you know, Wednesday, that was the day of the inauguration you know sleepy Joe Biden cre creepy Joe Biden was sworn into office okay but nonetheless that evening I went to the brother house you know to join the Akim in their lesson you know broke bread with them and after I left the brother house I went to Kroger you know the, the grocery store Kroger the, the grocery store slash pharmacy okay and I noticed the sign outside you know you can read it on the building that says pharmacy drive through 
But I find it spiritual. I find it spiritual that the part that says drive, where it says drive, the lights don't work. But the lights work where it says pharmacy through. Now we know that the pharmacy that represents your drugs, your different medicine, you know, your false medicine that you get from Esau Edom. Okay, and they have a drive through at Kroger. You know, that's that convenience. You could just drive up and, you know, get your drugs from, you know, the pharmacist. But this was spiritual to me. The lights were still working where it says pharmacy and through. Because what does pharmacy really mean? Okay? And we know what through means. Through means done. It means finished. Which, you know, it's a drive through. Of course, you drive up. You, you drive through to, you know, get your medicine. You know, your so-called medicine. But this was in the spirit, man. Because there was a lot of witchcraft going out during the inauguration. Once again, I went to this Kroger on Wednesday. You know, the 20th. During the so-called inauguration. There was high-level witchcraft happening, man. You know, damn near everybody in all black. Like a bunch of warlocks and witches. You know, a lot of symbols being shown. You know, Lady Gaga performing the national anthem. Which is about the uh, enslavement of you Israelites. That's what the national anthem is all about. You know, but you have a straight up witch singing it. You know, who's into spirit cooking? Who's into uh, pedophilia? You know, who's into adrenochrome? She was singing that damn national anthem, but there was a lot of high level sorcery going on, man. And they were reading scriptures. You know, you, you had the. Uh, the one Reverend Sylvester, Sylvester Beeman, I want to say his name is, but he's reading scriptures. Everything he's reading and quoting went back to Israel. That has nothing to do with Esau Edom. Talking about a nation not lifting up sword against nation. When America's is a uh, America's the top, you know, corporation that's involved in war. You know, but there was a lot of witchcraft going on. But you know, the point is. It's not working. It's through. It's through. You know? All these, you know, people wearing face masks, wearing all black, you know, showing submission to the elite. You know, but, but also, you know, black symbolizing Saturn worship, worshipers of Saturn, worshipers of Satan. But it's done, man. Do you see the point? That's the point I'm getting at. So, to prove that it's done, let's get some scriptures. Isaiah chapter 25 verse 7 And he, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Will destroy in this mountain What mountain? The American government Mountains symbolize governments Okay So he will destroy in this government The government of America, Babylon the Great The face of the covering cast over all people And the veil that is spread over all nations which Elder Apostle Gabar went into this. You know, the covering cast is going to false identities, false nationalities, you know, because Esau Edom has renamed everybody, calling people colors, calling them languages, you know, calling them false identities. But see, us removing that covering cast, well, you know what? Yahweh Bashim Shai removing that covering cast, but he's using his prophets, giving everyone their real nationality, okay? So the scripture is going into that, you know, but also, you know, dealing with manifold wisdom. This is also going into the Lord destroying Esau Edom's witchcraft. OK, because Esau Edom has everybody under a spell by way of the media and people, you know, they, they are all caught up into the American media. But that's just straight up sorcery. You know, you're being programmed, you know. You know, the, the television, you, you know, they're telling a vision. The elite are, are giving you a vision that they want you to believe. You know, they call it television programming. You're being programmed. You know, they're giving you their vision and they're programming you with it. You know, that's what they're doing, man. It's nothing but sorcery, you know, and media. The word media goes back to illusion. You know, 
media or, 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 or media, but you have, uh, uh, you know, a media, media goes to middle, you know? So the, uh, the, the media, that's the, uh, the middle man, so to speak, of how the elite of Edom convey what they want the people to know. They talk to you by way of their media, you know? So the media is like the middle person, you know, th that's how they get to you. But also it's dealing with sorcery, man. Cause you, cause you got, for example, I was in art class. You have a media that, that that's your different, um, basically your, your, your different tools that you work with to produce your art. For example, you have paint, you have pencils, you have charcoal, you have oil pastel, you have different things that you work with to, you know, paint the, uh, the picture that you want to paint that illusion. You know of, of what you want So that's what they do with their media They're painting a picture You know to you What they want you to believe It's sorcery, it's witchcraft man That's that covering cast You know beginning with them giving you false identities False nationalities You know And also false belief systems You know because at the end of the day They want you to believe in them You know that's why the American media Is so subjective that's why we tell you brothers to watch alternative news You know, watch the world news Watch, you know uh, You know, global news Look into global articles You know there are, there are many different alternative media sources Alternative media That will tell you more of the truth than the American media Because the American media is all about keeping you sleep Alright, but the point is The Lord is destroying that He's destroying the veil And you got the word revelation The word revelation Like you got the book of revelation Revelation means to pull back the veil So the Lord is doing it By way of the truth And the wicked is being revealed In that process Now You know what Since I said that Let me get this man Real quick 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 8 And then shall that wicked be revealed That wicked Which is a nation Malachi 1 and 4 They shall call them the border of wickedness The Edomites You know they're being revealed Once again the word revelation You know Everything is being exposed Everything is being revealed but, but one of the main things being revealed are the Edomites See their witchcraft is not working You know them calling themselves white You know being self-proclaimed white people you know, being a, a European, being an American, etc. Being anything other than Esau, Edom, anything other than the wicked, being anything other than the devil, all that's being destroyed. You're being shown for who you really are. Whom the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, which are the prophets. So the Lord is revealing you and consuming you by way of his men, his mouthpiece, the prophets. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming So right now you're being sentenced Next thing is the judgment Alright Yahweh Shai coming That's the brightness him, him, him coming With those innumerable company of angels You know Behold he, com he cometh with clouds It's like you Aki I'm a bit excited You know Behold he coming with clouds Revelation 1 and 7 So That's it man But you keep reading Going into that sorcery You know Dealing with Esau, Edom Hey, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 9 Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan With all power and signs and lying wonders But the point is, it's through You know, now if you're not the elect You're gonna, you're gonna get uh, caught up into it But scriptures say it's not possible to deceive the elect Okay It's not possible Alright but that's the point, man. Nothing is working. So let's go from there. Something else I had wanted. But for right now, I'm going to get this. You know, because I didn't want this to be too long. So I may just come back and do another part. But do, dealing with that word pharmacy. Okay, Revelation chapter 18 and verse 23. And the light of a candle... 
shall shine no more at all in thee. And when you read this, you think about America, you're ha having all these lights. You think about, you know, the, the different skylines in America, you know, but also dealing with the power of America, you know, scriptures say, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning, you know, dealing with the king of Babylon, you know, this place going out, America being destroyed, it's going down, all right, which the king of Babylon, the king itself represents the elite, they're controlling this place, but you know what, Babylon the great itself is going to fall. Now it says, and the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. Why? Because America is going to be destroyed. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Now, dealing with that word, sorceries, look that up really quick. For sorceries The Greek word It's not playing Yeah, that's crazy. It's not playing. Hey, well, it, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. You know, Lord willing, this is going through. Because I'm recording in my car right now. All right. But for pharmakia, which that's the word. The, the word is pharmakia. For pharmakia, it says the use or the administering administering of drugs because you got the pharmacy but then it says poisoning sorcery magical arts often found in connection with idolatry and fostered by it which goes to what the media that's part of that that uh sorcery and magical arts see people are being deceived by way of the american media all right now it says metaphorical or, or metaphor for this the deceptions and seductions of idolatry right well yeah it goes to uh, witchcraft now it says medication pharmacy but see really it goes to magic sorcery and witchcraft which is through all right it's done now man it's done and i'm gonna close out with this in isaiah 47 there's more i could get but the point is proven you know But yeah, you read that last verse. You read that last verse in Revelation 18. You know, it's telling you how that woman is that great city. You know? That has the blood of the saints. You know? Actually, that's in Revelation 17 where it says that woman is that great city. But we know that that woman is Babylon the Great and in her was found the blood of the prophets, the saints, you know, the Israelites. So America has to be that place. What's that place responsible for having the majority of our people in slavery? America. OK, and then it says all were slain, you know, upon the earth by this place. You know, America is involved in all these different world wars and all these different conflicts. This has to be America. The hammer of the earth, you know? But this is in Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 12. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail. Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. So nothing is going to work, man. Nothing is working and it's not going to work. Only way it's going to work on you 
is if you're not a part of the elect. You know? That's it, man. But Esau Edom, he's meeting his end. All right? This is his demise. Call Halayim La Allah Hayyanaw Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone. Peace and blessed to the hopeful elect. Shalom.